Well, it's time for me to make another house call. Kelly and Glenn Tanabi of Palo Alto, California want to give their dog Sushi a door of her own. So I'm going to see if I can lend a hand. Good morning, And this would be? Sushi. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? How you doing, huh? <laughs> How you doing, sweetie? Yes. Oh. So this is the this is the doorway here, huh? Yes. This is where we want the doggy door. Now this this doorway goes where? To your house or your to garage? To our garage. Your garage. Okay. So uh, sushi, you'd be able to go from the patio out here, the courtyard, into the garage on your own, huh? Is sushi pretty much full size now? Would you say? Pretty much. You'll probably get maybe five pounds heavier. Okay. And uh, any other dogs coming along, brothers and sisters? No, I don't think so. We're a one-dog family. One-dog family. Okay. <laughs> so we'll base the size of the dog uh, door then on her current height right now. Doggy doors should be positioned so that the bottom of the door is at roughly the same height from the floor as the dog's chest. So we'll need to make some measurements. But <laughs> measuring a moving target oh. is a bit of a <laughs> challenge. Okay. I would say about, just about, <laughs> <laughs> I would say just about, 10 inches. But the inside and outside floors are not the same height, so we'll need to modify our measurements. There's a four inch difference between those two. I'd suggest we split the difference and make the opening, the bottom of the opening, about eight inches up from the bottom of the door right here. We measure and mark the eight inches, then remove the door. Why don't you go ahead and take that pin out on the upper hinge there. That's the last one. Using a hammer and screwdriver, Kelly drives the pins out of the hinges and Gen pulls the right, door guys, free. Let's turn it out to the patio. You know, we could have done this job with the door on its hinges. I just think it's easier to work on it lying down. It's certainly easier for me to show you guys what's going on here mm -hmm. for okay. the couple of minutes it took to take it off, or not even that, a minute. Uh, what I want to do right now okay. is find the center of the door. So let me put a piece of tape down here again. The tape will make our marks easier to see and avoid our having to erase a lot of pencil lines from the door later on. Gen measures the width of the door to find the exact center, and Kelly marks the spot on the tape. Square, if you would. And we're going to draw a perpendicular line right up the center. Now we'll extend our center line several inches upward. So if you come up here, your eight inches. Then measure up eight inches from the bottom edge. Okay, now we'll draw a line again parallel to the bottom right there. This will be the bottom edge of the opening. This doggy door, like most, comes with a security panel. In this case, the panel is the exact size of the opening we need to cut and serves as a template. So this is the center line of the panel. This is the center line of the door. If we align those, we know we've got the panel centered in the door, and we'll align the bottom edge with this line right here. Kelly traces the outline of the panel, and then we bring out the power tools. Now we're ready to cut out this rectangular opening. We're going to be doing that with a jigsaw, but I want to give you guys a, a hole to start this. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes on all four corners here, so we won't have to be turning the jigsaw around the corner, all right? For these small corner holes, or pilot holes, we use a combination square to keep the bit as vertical Straight. as possible. Then we move up to a larger bit, now, large drill bits like this okay. tend to splinter the wood as they exit. So we'll start the hole from this side, but stop about halfway through. All right, guys. Okay. Now we're going to flip this over. And finish the hole from the opposite side of the door. The pilot hole will show us exactly All where right. to drill. Those are our four corners of the opening. So we're ready to cut. Have you used a jigsaw before? No, nope, okay. never before. Great. I love that. <laughs> All right. One thing is a little notch right here. See that? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, the idea is to keep that notch, or the bottom of that notch, on your line. Okay. You just come right down here. And just right? follow that, okay. Just follow it. Gen and Kelly quickly get the hang of the jigsaw. And before you know it, we have a hole in the door. We no longer need the tape, so we pull it off. And it's quickly disposed of. Since this is an exterior door, we want to make sure there's a watertight so a, seal around the edge of the doggy door frame. An exterior yeah, caulk that. like this one <laughs> will prevent leaks, which could cause the door to rot from the inside out. Think you'll still be in this house in 25 years? Mm, I don't know. It's kind of a small house. <laughs> <laughs> you planning a family? Eventually. Dogs kind of practice, mm, right? <laughs> I know that. Okay. We press the exterior portion of the frame into the caulk. 
and use our fingers to smooth any caulk that has squeezed out. Swipe off the excess here. Gan and Kelly yeah, apply some great. tape so to hold the frame in position. Out. Well, we Sushi and I supervise. Then we turn the door over. Okay, now this is the interior panel. I want to make sure that the hinge side goes to the top of the door. And if you guys want to start putting these screws in. Screws secure the inner panel to the outer one. In effect, okay. sandwiching the door in between. You guys work together? It's good. Yes, yes we do. Work. We do. Can you I do? work together. No, I should, yeah, you work really well together. Our installation complete, we rehang the door and discuss security issues. One thing uh, I want to show you here, this is called a security panel. It just slips right in from the top here. And the reason you want to use this is to keep uninvited guests from coming in. It could be other dogs, other pets in the neighborhood. I've even seen raccoons come in through the doors like this. Well, so we finished. But our project still needs final approval on, Sush, from the on, top girl. dog. Come on, come on, Sush, come, come on. on, yay! Well, yeah. I guess our efforts weren't for naught. Uh, thanks, Ron. She seems to like it. Thanks so I much. I hope you enjoy. One last okay. thing before I go. Gen snaps a picture for Sushi's webpage, where I'm the guest of honor. <laughs>